doomed monk. Known pattern. A diabolical legend. A mysterious manuscript. It is absolutely mad. It is loony. There are no other manuscripts like it. And a midnight pact with the devil. It was the devil they worried about much more than seeking God's approval. A tale of bloody wars, hidden secrets, and holy exorcisms. Sinister, bizarre, unexplained. Until now. Unlock the secrets of a medieval mystery. As science and investigation uncover the fabled and feared Devil's Bible. The Codex Gigas, Latin for Big Book, the largest medieval manuscript in existence. Once considered the eighth wonder of the world, stretching three feet long, weighing 165 pounds. Inside it, the Bible, ancient histories, medicinal cures, and magical spells. It contains a combination of text that exists nowhere else. It is a most peculiar, strange, haunting, fascinating, uh, large, bizarre, uh, uh, inexplicable object. But the book is far more. The Codex wields an almost supernatural allure, coveted by the powerful, stolen as a spoil of war, secreted away by a holy Roman emperor. Throughout its history, the Codex has inspired fear and an obsession to possess it. Today, the book's magnetism is as powerful as ever. Though it lives permanently in Sweden, in 2007, for the first time in nearly 400 years, the Codex traveled back to its native Czech Republic. Thousands flocked to see it. The event made international headlines. Few books on earth can cause such a sensation. And there is no doubt anybody who sees this book in the flesh cannot be unaware that it has a certain sort of power. And behind it all is a diabolical driving force. A single sinister figure. Satan. The Codex boasts a full-page portrait of the devil. No other Bible on earth features such a sizable image of evil incarnate. No one knows who created it or why it's there. It is extraordinary and very, very unusual picture. It's unforgettable and it's haunting, and that may be intentional. And there's more. Unexplained, unpainted shadows engulf only the pages surrounding the satanic portrait. And the Codex is the only book that places the Old and New Testaments alongside violent, holy incantations. Spells of demonic exorcisms. Though no one knows its exact age, a citation in the book reveals a likely date of completion, 1230. Since then, for eight centuries, two critical questions have haunted the Codex. Who created it? And why? The book's calligraphy is astoundingly consistent. Could a team of scribes have worked together, or is it the work of a single author? 